Hello everybody, and welcome to our next Let's Play of Growlanzer, Heritage of War. Let's go ahead and start this up. With fierce amphibious creatures known as Screepers swarming the shores, humans were driven inland. However, the land is slowly decaying, forcing countries to fight over the remaining space. Grand Gelt Kingdom is also suffering from the decay, and has decided to invade Nalan to the north to seize control of their fertile soil. The Nalern's inferior defenses were overcome little by little, and the Nalern kingdom would soon be no more. Northeast of Sawmill Forest, the final battle between Nalern and Grangel's forces has taken place. Too late? How can I stop this fighting? The Grand Gale Kingdom of the South won't back down, and the people of Nalern of the North will die resisting them. The Earth is weakening, and they battle over scraps rather than solve the problem. But why? Why do people continue to fight? Why? <clears throat> over a decade ago, Celadus is. Orphanage was burnt down by soldiers. Ever since, he's been searching for a means to stop all war. His goal is to find the paradise spoken of in legend, the peace forged by a nation that was unified that unified the continent with no bloodshed. But as his search dragged on and the war intensified, Celdius became more and more agitated. <coughs> hmm? A survivor. And the green marker appears and investigate by pressing X. Yep, so we can run around and search all this stuff. So, I didn't get to say much about this game before starting, because unfortunately, this game doesn't allow you to sit at the main menu at all. It just jumps into a demo, no matter what you're doing. And, well, I say demo, but the opening movie ends. That's fairly loud and distracting. Um, so this is a game I've never played before. I've actually never played any of the Growlancer games before, but... I've had friends recommend them to me every now and then, and I was a really big fan of the Langrisser series. Um, I actually played through the first two not too, too long ago. I didn't upload it, but... And uh, this series, I've heard, is a bit of a spiritual successor to those games. It's, uh... It's interesting to me. I did do a little bit of, uh... test playing of this, though, just to make sure it was working in the emulator. And there was a sound issue I had to fix, and there's going to be some, uh, a couple, a couple graphical bugs. Not too, too many. Nothing, uh, can't get around. But, uh, yeah, the battle system in this game was something I wasn't expecting. Especially hearing that it was a successor of sorts to the Langrisser series, which is classic grid-based, you know, turn-based tactics. This is a lot more, uh, I guess real-time is a good enough description of it. I don't know what else you'd call it. Anyway, with that little bit said, let's get into this game. Um, hopefully it's enjoyable for everybody watching this for me to play. Looks like a Nalern soldier. Hang in there. Please, give this to my girl in Nunan, my hometown. Don't give up. You can give it to her yourself. I beg you. <clears throat> Please. All right. Obtain the soldier's pendant. You're a good man. Here. Take this. Obtain the friendship medal. It's an emblem of friendship. And trust. Damn it. If not for the war, this wouldn't have happened. That's hard to argue with. I must get to the bottom of that legend. That reminds me. 
reminds me. If she's all right, we're supposed to rendezvous here. All right, let's get shift the music. Those items we just got. Now, what should I do? Friendship metal. It's an old metal full of scratches. I can see something written on it. Give this to someone you trust. This is simple of your goodwill. Give this metal to someone I trust. What now, what should I do? That? But basically what I've found is that you can push triangle, Next. and you can assign orders in here. You can cycle between the monsters. Or, with uh, your main character exclusively, it seems, you can just straight run up the things and attack them. After encountering monsters roaming in dungeons or on the field, the battle will begin automatically. If you approach monsters, they will attack, but you can also launch a preemptive attack. First, approach the monsters. View the movement tutorial. Sure, let's watch the tutorial. When approaching an enemy, a red marker will appear. Press X to attack the enemy the red marker points to. The character will continue attacking automatically. After you select a target, a target lock will be shown on its HP gauge, and a yellow ring above the main character's head. Their target will be displayed as well. Remember that if you take action such as moving, the attack will be cancelled. Go into attack mode by pressing triangle to open the command menu. You can then choose attack command to lock onto the, de the desired enemy. Uh, sorry about that. Move the attack marker to other enemies with L1 and R1. Commence attacking with X. Indeed. The enemy, an enemy's HP is shown in a bar above its head. When the enemy's HP reaches zero, the foe has been defeated. A party member will become immobilized if his or her HP reaches zero. If the entire party becomes immobilized, the game will end. Be careful. Ooh, did quite a chunk there. Once you attack, you'll be unable to move for a short while. The ATW gauge in the status window at the bottom of the screen shows the time left until you can act again. Only the main character will be able to act or to move when stunned. However, his recovery from the stun will be slower than usual. If you're attacked, you'll be stunned for a few moments. Try to avoid being surrounded by enemies. Use Defend Command to take a defense position. You can reduce the damage you'll sustain by defending, but if you've been stunned, you won't be able to defend yourself. Now, I wonder if that means that if I'm defending, I can't be stunned? Because it wouldn't make much sense if you were defending and you could get stunned still. Oh, attack. Characters with green HP bars, green dots on the radar, are allies who must be protected. They're called NPCs, or non-player characters. In most missions, if the NPCs are killed, the game will be over. Watch them carefully. If NPCs with no combat abilities are attacked by monsters, you must protect them at all costs. Units low on HP will be shown as a blinking gun. Keep a careful eye on the radar. Oh, wow, that's got a pretty long range attack, doesn't it? Obtain the chemist's art. You can become stronger or gain special abilities with different equipment. To equip them, press triangle to open the menu and select the equip command. My blade strikes for the future. Indeed. Next. So now we're going to equip that chemist arm we found. Which, uh... HP recovery item effects are increased by 40%. I don't know what that stack red circle means. I haven't really... Like, the little bit I did play of this game, I just went to, like, the first town. So, I just made sure, like I said, stuff was running. Um, so I don't know what that stack red circle means. I assume it'll be explained at some point. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Thank you. I didn't expect to see monsters on my way to resupply. Would you like to buy my merchandise? Uh, no, but we will go ahead and save the game. Yep, right there. Memory card is unformatted. Yep, go ahead and format it. Press circle twice at the save screen. This place was recently a battlefield. You should be careful around here. Yeah, but I have to resupply, or my family will suffer. Thanks for the tip, though. It's not really a very good argument. I imagine that if you die, your family would suffer at least as much. <sighs> Our 
All right, I'm going to do something here that for some reason cuts my recording, so this is going to be a really short video, but we'll be right back. <laughs> 